Bill, my mate. Typical fine ball looking for a mate prediction. Uh, <laughs> but, Paul, you know, I, I look at the East, and Florida loses a lot of personnel on the defensive side. Still have questions at the quarterback position. But this is by far the best skill that Jim McElwain had surrounding right. the quarterback position, including the offensive line. I mean, the offensive line has finally gone from an Achilles heel now to what could be a strength. Uh, and the running game should take hold, too, and it's a matter of whether or not Felipe Franks can grab hold of the position and allow those guys around him to make him better. Uh, defensively, I can't imagine a huge drop-off, uh, so if I were to lean anywhere, I'd still lean in favor of the Gators. I, I got a chance to see Florida uh, up close and personal this spring. I, I really like the personnel they have. Um, I think Callaway is as good a playmaker as you'll find uh, in the SEC just as far as getting it to him behind the line of scrimmage and going. Uh, and his route running is, is second to none as far as the way he gets in and out of breaks. So uh, I think he's a game changer. And now there's some really nice supporting cast around him to where if you take him away, you better take away this guy and this guy too. Uh, but I think George has come a long way being down there and, and being a guest official, if you can believe it, for their spring game. Uh, I actually went up to, to Kirby and said, man, it, it's amazing to have been here last spring and to see the bodies and the personnel and then to come back this spring and see the transformation. Uh, I had to literally go up and, and shake the strength coach's hand because it's been that amazing to see what they were last year and what they were this year just in regards to the way they're put together physically. But uh, I still think they can accrue a little bit more depth along the defensive line. That's got to be a spot that I think they have to rely on some guys that are coming in. Uh, and I, I still have my questions as to whether or not Jake Beeson is ready to take the next step. He's